Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. I hope you are all well. In this video, I am reviewing the iFi Audio Zen Blue, which is a high resolution Bluetooth music or audio streaming DAC released as part of several new iFi Audio product releases in the Zen range, such as the Zen DAC, which is a headphone DAC amplifier product that I reviewed recently and I thought was absolutely excellent for the money. And I'll link the review to the Zendak up there for you. Make sure you go and check that one out. Now, I will admit when I saw the announcement for the iFi Audio Zen Blue, I didn't really get it as a product. I struggled to see where it would fit in to the current marketplace because with a lot of modern hi-fi components, a lot of them already have a Bluetooth connection or connectivity. Now I've actually lived with the product for a while, I can see that I was totally missing the point of it. It's not designed to be just another Bluetooth connection, it's actually designed to be a full-on hi-fi music streaming product with high resolution music streaming capability that just happens to use the ultra convenient Bluetooth connection or digital transmission technology, which has really come on a long way in recent years. And I think iFi have just tried to capitalize and maximize on some of the latest Bluetooth codecs which offer high resolution music support. Now to quickly explain that a little bit better and to definitely explain the high resolution aspect a little better, iFi Audio have designed the Zen Blue to use a lot of high resolution Bluetooth codecs which allow support for music streaming up to 96 kilohertz and 24 bits. Which when you think about it, it puts Bluetooth streaming on a par with a lot of Wi-Fi based network home hi-fi streamers. Just let that sink in for a minute. Now, pro number one is the price tag, £129, ker chow. Pro number two is the build quality, but before I even talk about the build quality, let's have a little look and talk about the styling. The Zen Blue is nice looking, it has a lovely colour, it's really sturdily and well built. Feel it in your hands, it feels solid, it feels expensive. It's an all aluminium metal construction, but it's thick and quality, it's not thin and flimsy. And I much prefer the opaque style LEDs to anything that's overly bright and makes you want to wear sunglasses. All the connectors feel well built and solid, and I really like iFi's choice or decision to go with a white aerial. <laughs> Now one major attention to detail that I really appreciate with the Zen Blue is that you can connect up to seven different Bluetooth devices to it. And depending on what codec the device has that you connect to it, the iFi logo on the front will change color, which I actually think is just a nice feature in itself, but it's actually quite useful. It can be a lovely way of helping you to remember what the last device was that you was using that was connected. Now, pro number three is ease of use. Now you will have to decide how you want to use the Zen Blue. You can either use it as a full on high resolution Bluetooth streaming DAC, or you can use it as a full on high resolution Bluetooth streaming digital source. And it's easy to choose between them with a flick switch on its rear. To use the Zen Blue as a streaming DAC, you connect either from the stereo phono connectors or from the 4.4 millimeter balanced Pentacon output, maybe to your favorite integrated amplifier or headphone amplifier, or maybe your powered monitor speakers. Using it as a streaming digital source, you can either connect via the optical or the SPDIF coaxial outputs, and then you'll connect digitally 
to your DAC or maybe to a pair of powered speakers if they have their own DAC built into them. Now to connect your Bluetooth device, it's just as simple. You hold down the Bluetooth button on the front of the Zen Blue until it starts to flash blue and red at you. The device is connected. LDAC. Aptex Classic. And then to play music or content from your favorite streaming services, from your favorite YouTube channel, all you need to do is just click play on it on whatever streaming device you're using because Bluetooth will automatically become the priority sound output from that device. So it just makes the whole you know, connection to playing music process literally as simple as possible. And then we have a volume control on the streaming device itself, the phone or the tablet. <laughs> moves us to pro number four, sound quality. And I also want to talk about pro number five, and that is upgradability, because both of those two things are very much intrinsically linked with the Zen Blue. Now included with the i5 Zen Blue is a five volt power supply that it needs in order to function. The sound quality from the included power supply is going to be good enough for 90% of people that buy a Zen Blue. With the included power supply, the sound from it, either as a streaming DAC or as a streaming digital source, is very clean, it's very clear. There is a nice overall sound stage, a nice amount of detail. Good to very good timing actually for its price point. And overall, it's just a very nice and engaging product to listen to that really punches well above its 129 pound price point. The sound from the Zen Blue is very good, but, and yeah, there is a but, the sound quality that you can get from the Zen Blue is very much dictated by the streaming device's Bluetooth codec. Interestingly, the sound presentation from the Zen Blue comparing the Huawei P20 to the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus was really quite chalk and cheese. With the Huawei P20 at really maximum quality, the sound was very crisp, very clear, and you can hear where it's a higher resolution music. Comparing to the Samsung S9 Plus, the sound wasn't as clear and wasn't as crisp, but it was very full sounding and actually warmer sounding. So it's quite an interesting one there, and I think an audiophile or a user could maybe prefer one or the other depending on what really audio or hi-fi or headphone system that they're using. But what about if you want the best of both, a really full and warm sound with the crispness and the clarity as well? Well, I would say that probably is then the other 9.99% of people that would buy a Zen Blue. And for you, iFi Audio have got an upgraded power supply, their iPower X, which is a 99 pounds power supply. When you compare their physical makeup, their physical size, that actually is very much the differences in how they sound. The iPower X is a much more full sound, a much more engaging sound. Music is more dynamic, it's more expressive, which means it has more of an emotional you know, impact on you and you connect with that music much more easily. So, you know, for that 9.99%, I think the 99 pounds that the iPower X is going to cost you will definitely be worth it. It would definitely be worth it to me. But that still leaves the 0.01% of customers and audio files who might be interested in the Zen Blue. Well, for you guys or girls, I have something really quite special, something that I'm affectionately nicknaming Pimp my Zen Blue. I thought after the benefits or hearing the benefits of the iPower X, I'll try and push the Zen Blue as far as I possibly can. And just so happens that I was able to use what is probably the best linear power supply across the whole audio market in the world today, the JCAT Optimo 3 Duo Linear Power Supply, which is a 1,500 euro linear 
power supply and powering the Zen Blue from that linear power supply really was quite a shocking experience. The sound quality from it then became bigger and more smooth and more refined and really organic and you know, way exceeding what you would expect a Bluetooth streaming quality to do and a product of £129 to be able to deliver. I actually took from that and from this test that the iPhone Audio engineers have done a fantastic job with the design of the Zen Blue because with that crazy expensive linear power supply, the Zen Blue was then delivering a sound that was not that far off what you would get from dedicated Wi-Fi or local networked based hi-fi streamers to a certain price point. So those are my five pros for the Zen Blue and they are some big, big pros. And the five cons I'm about to do, it's a balance obviously the review, some of them are borderline not cons really, they are just things to be mindful of. <laughs> Con number one, and the biggest one for me, is that the sound quality that you can achieve from the Zen Blue is very much dictated by the codec of the streaming device that you are using. So if you want to stream full res high resolution music from Cobuzz, then the Bluetooth codec from your phone or your tablet needs to be able to support that. And obviously if it doesn't support that, then there is nothing that you can do to unlock the full sound quality of the Zen Blue. Only an issue if you're a user of high resolution streaming music services. If you use Spotify, for example, then it's not so much an issue. Now the second con I think is related to if you're using maybe your phone as the Bluetooth streaming source, because whatever happens on that phone sound wise will then get played back through the Zen Blue and then back through the audio system that you're using, which can be a positive actually, really, if you're playing music loud while you're cooking, cleaning, doing some DIY, important WhatsApp message or text message comes in, you hear that very distinctive sound go through the whole audio system, which means you're more likely to hear it. The negative could be you're sitting down listening to your favorite song off your favorite album, it just gets to that good bit, and then a WhatsApp or a text message comes through from the wife reminding you to pick the kids up from school, or you get an email come through from a long lost relative who wants to give you $6 million if you just give them your full address details and bank details. So it may seem like a trivial thing, but when you are sitting down to listen to and enjoy music, keep getting interrupted by sound effects of your phone can be quite annoying. And then con number three will be signal strength. Now, Bluetooth connection does have a finite amount of connection range or connection strength, which means you're listening to music, you wanna put your phone in your pocket while you pop up to go to the toilet or maybe pop outside for a smoke, there's a chance that the signal strength will cut out and then the music will stop playing or start stuttering. And you know, I think most people are probably familiar with this already, but that's just not something that you get from a Wi-Fi or a normal network enabled streaming hi-fi setup. Is that a con? I'm not sure, but definitely something to be mindful of. That moves me on to con number four. There is no MQA support with the Zen Blue. Now again, that's only going to be of interest to you know, a limited number of users of the Zen Blue. And the only reason I'm even raising that as a potential con is because iFi Audio have included MQA with pretty much every single DAC product that they've released over the last three or four or more years. Now I can only assume there's a technical limitation between sending music files over Bluetooth, which means that MQA can't be supported in this fashion. So again, is it a con? I don't think so, but just something to be mindful of. And I think the last con or something to be mindful of is if the Zendak is anything to go by, then to get the best sound quality from the Zen Blue, we will need to use that 4.4 millimeter balanced Pentacon output. That's absolutely fine, except it's not a commonly seen connection. It's very unlikely for someone to have, you know, a Pentacon to XLR cable 
kicking around at home. So it's something that you will need to go and search and find and buy. Because the Zen Blue is a fully balanced DAC design, really we need to use the balanced output to achieve the best sound quality from it. So I think, again, something to bear in mind. So there you have it. Those are my five pros and my five cons for what is an ultra affordable, really lovely and lovely looking, extremely well built, can sound way, way, way better than you would ever expect it to. And another really great, affordable, hi-fi product from iFi Audio. And as a result of all that, it's very, very, very easy to award the iFi Audio Zen Blue a serious bang for buck. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the Pursuit and Perfect System YouTube channel, obviously if you haven't already. Appreciate you watching to the end and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye. Your device is disconnected. Yeah.